Hey guys, so we've got a repeat tutorial now. So we did another tutorial on him just before and that video got 50,000 views in two weeks or something. His link's down in the description. So his style is low contrast and then it has a lot of blues in the shadows and a lot of warmth in the highlights that go very orange. So we are working with this shot right here. So I think there's a lot of warmth in the mid-tones as well because you see how orange the skin tones go. So blue in the shadows, uh, warmth in the mid-tones, and then warmth in the highlights as well. A low amount of contrast. And yeah, link's down in the description, guys. Let me know you found me through this tutorial. Keep an eye out for the passcode that appears up the top right. So don't skip the video, watch right through, and you'll see that passcode. And everyone inside the course has access to this raw image to follow along in this one. So if you're not part of the course, sign up, guys. Otherwise, sign up down below. There's a free lesson that's really important to watch and that's where i'm spending most of my time these days is trying to build the number one photo editing course where i take you guys through step by step on how i do these tutorials how i really understand the lightroom tools to an advanced level of knowing how to mix and match colors and contrast and then on top of that there's a ton of guest editors that are in the course as well that are providing raw images taking you through step by step on how they edit their images so tons of value but let's get into this tutorial Okay guys, so going through this edit, so 35 millimeters, you can see that there's quite a bit of space around our subject. So a little bit wide for a portrait and then 1.4 for really shallow depth of field and then ISO 400 and then a pretty fast shutter just to expose it right. So nothing major going on with the settings. And then just to show you guys the cropping, if we just come in here, you can see we just synced it up our subject's face. So nothing major going on in the cropping either. So let's get into this one. Let's drop the contrast a lot because I quite often like to add in a bit of contrast at the least in the curves. So I always do that and I'll just show you the curves now. So let's turn them on. So I reckon a bit of a fade in the blacks here and then in the highlights, I think there's just a bit of a Mac look throughout the entire image. So what you do is here, I just brought down everything just below the line and then brought up the blacks a bit. So that's that fade in the dark areas. And then in these channels, this is just adding in a bit of contrast and giving us the ability to change the colors a little. So when I did this, I wanted a bit more blue in the highlights. So throughout the edit, I just went a bit more blue in the highlights. So I might come back to why I did that. But at the moment, these curves, just a tiny bit of contrast. His image doesn't have much contrast at all. So a little bit of contrast, and then there's a fade going on throughout this image. And if we click on this one, I just brought down the highlights a bit extra as well. So this is the shape of the curve, and it's just adding a little bit of fade throughout the image. So up here now, and we'll just Brighten it a bit, bring out the shadows a bit. Maybe some blacks. And then I think we're pretty well exposed. And if I just turn the curves on and off, that's what the curves are doing. So we've darkened it a bit because we brought all these points downwards below the original line. That's why it gets a bit darker. And then we obviously get that fade in the blacks there. And then a bit of extra contrast from this slight S curve in the color channels. We're about good up here. Okay, we're good. I could bring down the saturation, but I'll probably leave most of it for the HSL, so we'll just leave that there. Okay, so we'll just go to saturation of the HSL first. So usually I do split toning before HSL sometimes, but let's just bring down those greens because that's just a really obvious one we want to bring down. Same with those yellows, and then we get these oranges to really stick out. And then we obviously want them to be a bit more orange. Um, and these greens, a bit of warmth to them. We aren't perfect at the moment, but what I'll do now is come down to split toning. So looking at these greens, I reckon they look a little blue, but then they also look quite warm at the same time. So I reckon he's got blue in the shadows and then warmth in the mid-tones and highlights, especially if you look at a white shirt. So let's do it in here. So let's go with a nice blue shadows let's go 15 and then say a warmth 
11 and then I'm going to play with the balance so I want to keep these blues in the darker shadows and introduce more of the highlights so I'm going to shift this across and now we get that nice blend of blue in the shadows but warmth in the highlights and mid tones like I said before so her white shirt gets a bit of those warm tones but if we did this now it's introducing a lot of those blue tones get those warm tones and the mid tones I'll just adjust this a touch okay so HSL again those oranges really stand out so we'll just keep them up yellows so just looking at the other image where are the yellows we're just just trying to match them up and then the greens are about right and now I think I I'll play around with this and drop the luminance of the yellows I think it just creates that deeper look and then the greens because all this looks quite deep and then she's orange so she pops out quite a bit if we just leave the oranges up but drop these okay coming back up to HSL let's shift the lips could look a little too orange maybe uh, we'll try that just to keep the lips kind of red oranges yellows let's go a bit warmer We don't really have any of the other colors in this image either. And if we come down, sharpening, I just left default. I don't think there's too much going on in terms of sharpening. It's quite a natural looking sharpness. So either default or bring it down a little. It's hard to tell off a screenshot off Instagram. Okay, so if we just reset, is that before and after? It looks a lot more like his. And then if we go over here, let's go his image my image or the image we just edited yeah i think it's pretty similar the sharpness sort of changes a bit makes it a bit harder to get pinpoint maybe a little bit of grain it's very hard to see and then coming back up to the curves guys i'll just show you what i did here so throughout the edit i thought there was like quite a bit of warmth in the mid-tones so what i did is just drop the blues a bit compared to the greens so the blues were maybe up here and then I just pulled them down you see how it gets a bit warmer in this area and your face the highlights of your face and stuff like that so I did that a little bit to get a bit more warmth in these areas and then I did drop the reds as well now the opposite to red is a cyan and that's quite close to a warm light blue and then i just got the reds there a bit they're about the same as the greens i don't think there's too much in it i think i just just try to match up like the amount of purple i see in there so like bringing down the greens a bit more purple and those highlights there and down in the shirt uh, i think we're good there's possibly a bit more warmth in those mid-tones there so i could come in here and just drop these blues a bit but yeah i'll just leave it there guys pretty close yeah, and there's our before and after again. Right, so that wraps up this tutorial. Pretty quick one. Go give him a follow down in the description. His links are down there. He's honestly one of my favorite photographers. I've actually done a lot of videos with him before, so if you type his name into the search bar, you'll be able to see all the previous tutorials I've done with him so far. So yeah, let him know you found him through this tutorial if you haven't. And if you guys want to go the next step with me and learn more about photo editing, about how I know what colors to put where, how I achieve certain fades, how I achieve certain styles, and then just overall taking your understanding of Lightroom to the next level, sign up to the course, or there's a free lesson down in the description that you guys can sign up for. Comment down below who you guys wanna see so I can go reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to be featured on YouTube. It really helps me if you do that. So make sure you comment all the photographers that have great styles, but maybe not so many followers, and then I'll reach out to them and be part of this YouTube channel. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one.